All right, as promised, we had a chance to talk to the legendary ventriloquist, Terry Fader, ahead of his show, which you can actually check out. Take a look. Our next guest, Terry Fader, is an amazing ventriloquist, known for his singing puppets, hilarious celebrity impressions, and he wowed the world by winning season two of America's Got Talent and is the star of a new residency in Vegas. You can catch his show at the Paramount Theater in Anderson on September 6th. Terry, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Really though, you made me get up early. I'm a turtle, I like to sleep late. Well, he, I had to wake him up out of his shell, but he's gonna be fine. You think? Yeah, I got coffee, <laughs> turtle coffee, right. Well, we appreciate you doing that for us. Thank you so much. We're excited well, to talk welcome. to you. Oh, <laughs> gosh, you are so good every time. So we have to, of course, talk about, we wanna talk about your show coming up here in town, but I know a lot of people probably ask you, what was it like to win America's Got Talent? It was surreal. I mean, I never in a million years thought I would win. Uh, you know, I, I went on hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people uh, try out for that show. I just wanted, I was playing fairs and, and uh, county fairs and elementary schools. And I thought, man, if I could double my price at elementary schools and fairs, I'll be great. <laughs> never thought I would win. But apparently a turtle who can sing crying over you. That just captured the heart of America. Oh, How can yeah. I not though? Look at my bow tie. See? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can see why. Yeah. Uh, this is Winston, of course, who yeah. wowed the judges. And Winston, what was it like for you to perform alongside Terry on that show? Oh, I was Terry's right hand man. <laughs> Do you get that? That's a. That's I, a I do get that. Yes, yes. It's a, <laughs> I see it what was, you did there. You know, the I funny did. thing is, Winston didn't exist until America's Got Talent. I didn't? No. Well, I did, but I just wasn't in the show. Well, <laughs> actually, I, I had to create him because I wanted to do a Kermit the Frog impression, and I used a Kermit the Frog puppet. Um, but the Muppets wouldn't let me, so I had to find a turtle who could go, Hi, ho, Kermit the Frog here. Right. <laughs> That's great. It's yeah. so seamless. <laughs> it's hard enough to sing, but to sing while doing that. Yes, and sometimes doing an impersonation as yes. well. It's like so multi-layered. Can you walk us through that process? Like when you are creating a new character, what's that like, Terry? Well, I, you know, the impressions just came naturally for me. I just always was able to impersonate. I, I think I drove my family nuts because, you know, anytime they would make a, um, an announcement at Kmart for the, you know, blue light special, I would be like, that's a blue light special. No, that, and so, yeah. I would, and so I would always impersonate everything. So it just came very naturally to me to be able to do that. Um, but to be able to do it, ventriloquism and singing impressions, I, I have absolutely no idea how that works. Uh, my, even my vo vocal doctor says it's physically impossible what I do. I'm just gifted. I, I was given a gift when I was born of wow. being able to sing with my mouth closed and make uh, tones that you're really not supposed to be able to make with my mouth closed. It's, wow. it's crazy. <laughs> I don't bring, know. And bring so much joy and laughter yeah. to so many audiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, you always, you. yeah, you put on an incredible show. Speaking of which, you've got a show coming up in town, and then you have plans for your residency as well in Las Vegas. What can you tell us? Well, I'm in Las Vegas. I've moved to the Strat, which is fantastic, and uh, it's, an, it's a, a place that's been there, kind of iconic. It's really cool because you can see it as you're flying in. There's this uh, incredible tower. There's an amazing restaurant at the top, one of the best restaurants in town that has a 360 degree view that's, that actually rotates and you can see all of Las Vegas. We're right next to the sphere so you can see it changing uh, all of its cool things. Um, but my show is a, at the sphere is, I mean, I'm sorry, at the Strat is a, a place that uh, I can mix technology with just the raw talent of being able to do ventriloquism and puppets and, the, and impressions, right. But the show that I'm gonna be bringing <laughs> To, uh, to Anderson is, is the best show I've ever written. Uh, it truly, I've been working, I've worked on this and worked on this. It was my Vegas show for two years and wow. it's the first time it's been seen outside of Las Vegas. And it's really spectacular. There's gonna be me, there's gonna be in, the Elvis impersonator, there's gonna be all kinds of others. Yes, we've got Vicky the Cougar, <laughs> we've got uh, Fernando the Latin lover, uh, it's just really a fun, fun show. Plus, real people like uh, we've—I got, got a puppet of Frank Sinatra and Willie Nelson, oh, and fun. it's just really something you got to see. That's it's, great, and, and it'll bring a lot of happiness and laughter to you. Yes, yeah, September sixth, Paramount Theater in Anderson. Um, it was so funny. Like while I'm watching you, Terry, and listening, I'm just like Winston is staring into my soul. I know. It's amazing how he does that. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of my gifts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are certainly gifted, Terry. Thank you so much for talking to us. We'll have all the thank information you. up so that people can check out your show when you're here in September. And thanks for just having fun with us and making us laugh this morning. 
Thank you. You don't want to miss the show. It's going to make you feel good. Yeah, uh, you, uh, just come you to the go. show. You'll love it. Perfect. September 6th, Paramount Theater in Anderson. You can get tickets and learn more at terryfader.com. Thank you so much, friends. We had a great time with you. Mwah. That was a kiss. <laughs> Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you. We'll have more Indie Now coming up right after this. That was so fun. I know. That was cute. <laughs>